boys i know it's been a couple days but if you've been in the twitch streets with me you know i've been grinding shout out to those who came to the 12 hour autism stream i updated on twitter but we did have a goal of 500 and we reached it between the donations on my charity and also the subs we got in the chat during the 12 hour twitch stream that's why i haven't had youtube views over the last couple of days but Golden tickets are around the corner. We got this golden opportunity packs. I know Ring of Honor just came out. We think that, but there's still a lot left. Like I said, golden tickets and more importantly, rookie premiere for Madden 25. So a lot of people, I've had comments. Truth, I need you to help me make coins. That's what I'm here to do today. I did this series early on in the year on how the best way to make coins in Madden 24. I want to bring it back because there are some sets out there, fellas. Now, I know some people are going to hate this video because I'm going to ruin some sets, but it's Madden. I want everyone to eat. I want everyone to get their coins up because these cars are getting expensive. They really are. The Ring of Honors are 700K. Who knows how much the golden tickets are going to be. And when I tell you, you can make millions off these sets, you can make millions. So hit the like button. Drop us up. I appreciate you boys for all the love and support. I don't know if we're going to get to 10K before Madden 25, but we're going to continue to try. We can try to get to 10K before Madden 25, if it's going to be called Madden 25. But let's see if I can help you guys give you some hidden sets how to make coins because there's a bunch, a bunch out there. I'm telling you. So... Without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, and we been through it all. Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No, I'm balling on. All right, boys. First things first. The easiest way to make coins is to play the game and win Super Bowl. We all got this. We all understand this. Now, I'm not gonna open up these red zone packs and all this stuff in this video because I have been holding on to these packs. I think I have 16 packs now. I'm pretty sure. Um, trophy packs that I'm holding until the new season. They all updated. We can go crazy. I'll update it here. I'm pretty sure I have 16 trophy packs and maybe um, a couple of red. We'll open up the red zone packs. The red zone pack don't matter, but winning Super Bowls, obviously I'm hoping to make a couple, maybe a million back from just all these trophy packs. If you can win games, that's the easiest way to get um, coins. But obviously I know everyone doesn't have the capability to go out and play games and win Legend Super Bowls or whatnot. Um, Remember when that animation used to be so good, but we're going to get into some other ways that you can make some coins, and I promise y'all, it's more than worth it. And also, boys, I am going to do a Broncos theme team update. I think I'm probably going to do two more. I'm probably going to do one more now, and then probably another, not now, but soon, like in the next week or so, and then do another one before the season ends just so we can update the Broncos theme team. But let's talk about some sets, man. There are a bunch of sets that you can make coins that I want to get on this one first. Playoff sets. Now, I don't think I have 91, but it takes... As you can see, 591s. Let's hope I hop over to mutton.gg. If we go to prices and we look at 91s, what are they going for? Let's say they're going for 10K, hypothetically, right? So that's 50K. It's a little bit under 10K, but I mean, you get the point. Now, if we actually go to, now this is how I sort. I know what specific promos, you know, are 94s, but playoffs. I was destroying this earlier. Now, they may be a little bit down, right? But if you go to Isaac Samalu, you see he's at 67k i was selling him for 74k earlier we do 74k minus 60 um minus a 7k then that's 17k you're making per set you do 20 of those in an hour or even 10 of those you're making 170k 20 of those you're making 340k an hour and the beauty about the playoff cards is there is a bunch of them that go for around the 70k mark specifically all the linemen right so you could be making anywhere from 15 to sometimes 20k on some of these cards right so i just showed you three kevin zeitler they're all going for 70k now one that usually fluctuate fluctuates as well is harrison buckers and if you can see harrison bucker he's going for 70k right now now remember if we look back at the prices y'all the prices are 91k that's the target price you can probably get 91s at 8k 8500 the cheaper you get 91s the more profit you're going to make so think about that playoff set, playoff set. Like I said, there's three or four guys that you can spam. So that way you don't worry about clogging up one player and oversaturating that one player. There's three or four players you can spam to make a buku, buku of coins. Now, sticking with the 94 set and sticking with the theme of Lyman. Campus, heroes, if you know, you know, it's the same thing, right? We go back to mud.gg, you see same target price and if but if we go to prices and i'm actually going to show you a little bit different with these um we go to campus hero two we go to john did i spell that right maybe let's just go run you i'm pretty sure i sold this man for 80k a couple times today um and you can see 
I'm not lying. I'm pretty sure that one was mine and that one was mine. I'm pretty sure. I may be able to show it on my auction house, but you can see easily. You can build them for 50K, sell them for 75K, get 18K. If you build them for less, you're making even more coins when it comes to that. So you always got to look at linemen, right? Specifically when people are building theme teams. And sometimes people don't want to get the highest upper echelon linemen when it come, come to some teams, right? And let me go back over to my and see if I can show some of my. So you can see 72, 73, 74, 74, 74, 74. 74. You see, I was building all of these for a low, low of around 45K. And I'm making 22K per profit. So if I make 22K per each one of these, 22K, 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 that's 100, 110. 22K, 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 that's 220. 22K, that's almost 300K I made. And I did this while on stream too. So other people were watching me doing this and I still made close to 300K on stream with this. Now, you may see someone else on the auction house, but we're gonna get into that next. Now, boys, if you're not working this weekly wild card, now, the thing about weekly ball card, we all know these cards at the later part of the week gets expensive. When it drops on Wednesday, they are at their cheapest. And then because the supply runs out on them, they get more expensive. I just want to point out a couple. Justin Tucker, you can literally build this week 95s. If we go over to mud.gg, right? Let's go to desktop. Um, I'm looking at John Runyon still. If we go to 95s, you can get 95s for 75K. So let's say you get 495s for 75K, right? Um, that's 300k and then let's say you go build a specialist player now the specialist players are expensive but a cheaper way to do them if you wish to do them right specifically the 95 specialist players if we if it lets me scroll down to this set down here you can go where is it at this set right here you can build five of the 90 get 92s at 20k you can build a specialist pair for 100k so remember you see, there's plenty, 20K, 20, and you can probably get them cheaper that, right? So remember, that's at 75K. We got the 495s, that's 100, 300K plus a specialist, that's 100K. So that's 400K in total. If we actually go over to, now he may be a little bit um, cheaper right now, but if we actually go over to Justin Tucker, remember we built him for 400K. Uh, he's going for 475. So after tax, you're gonna be making 40K. Again, if you have Bitcoin stacks and you can spam this, spam 10, you know, it'll cost you what, 4 million, but after 10, you'll make 500K, right? You probably can sell them for upwards of also 500K because I know I sold mine for 500K today and I can show you um, if it allows me on my auction house. So if we go to Matt Prater, Matt Prater is another, he's a little bit cheaper, but same thing. I mean, potentially, but that's if you want to do that. Now, let me hop back over to my desktop real quick and i'm going to show you some more weekly wild cards that you can do i'm sticking with the weekly wild because there are so many you may have seen a couple in my to be sold um in my auction house selling brandon scherf now i have no idea so 94s and we'll look at a 94 heavyweight right so if we go over to 94s we go to prices as always 94s right now are about let's say 44k so to get um let's say 45k just for shits and giggles right so 45k times four which obviously you need here right that's 190k and then we got to look at let me go back here and we got to look at a 94 heavyweight now this 94 heavyweight is usually a little bit more expensive but remember we built the other ones for this is just off now what we're getting off there so 190 plus 109 you you've seen he was up for 89 but let's say he's 109 for the sake of things right so you're building him for what 289 mind you with that 289 if we actually go look at brandon sheriff now he may not be that expensive anymore um because you can see on my auction house i mean he's still going for what 350 so if you build him for 289 you sell him for 350 after tax you're making what 30 40k after tax another one i want to show you guys and i know i'm probably giving away everyone's juice i'm sorry i'm just trying to make a video and help everyone out my boy GVR. Now, if you know GVR, we've been cooking with him for months. You see he's up to 220K. Let's see how much it costs to build GVR real quick, right? So if we go to the same exact set, right? Well, not the same set, but the weekly wildcard set, right? 
and we look for Greg. Um, does Greg pop up? Where are you at? 86 overall. You can see I have three cards already sitting there, right? So I'm probably going to put those in there. So, so you need three of those, and then you need a heavyweight player. So let's look at what the heavyweight player is first. So that way, so I mean, we can probably get a KC2E for maybe 30 to 40K. Let's just see what's up. There's not one up right now. So we'll have to go get, let's say you got you to gotta pay 40K for a heavyweight player because these are obviously a little bit more expensive than the normal 93. Um, and it's rare that you that these are up. So it's hard sometimes to find these. I'll just check the other one real, real quick just to see if there is one up of this Ryan Ram check. If it is, I'll just buy it and I will actually complete this set right now. Um, look, there's up for one for 44K, sure. Let's, let's say I buy that for 44K. Now, let's go back over to the desktop, right? If you go back over to the desktop, you see the prices of 93s. You can get 93s for around 30K right now. Remember, it takes four 93s and then a weekly wildcard 93. You see, I just got that weekly wild card 93 for 44K. You got the other 93s at 30K. That's 120 plus the 44 is 160. Remember, that's 164. He's selling for upwards of 220K. Again, you are making 40K per set if you choose to do this. So I don't understand how you, and this is for any coins that right? 200K, most people have 200K. You can go out and build this for 160, put them on the auction house, play a game, and then reap the benefits right we still have one more we're not done we're absolutely not done let's go back let's go back i will complete this set at another stage i'm not going to do it right now just for the sake of the video let's go back there's another weekly wild card that y'all can cook on this weekly wild card set is absolutely crazy um one more alex ingo now his set he has become a little bit less expensive um because some everyone was eating off this set now, he is still quite back up. Now, the thing about him, though, is you can use any 94. So most 94s we know go for 43K. We look that up. 43K times 5. You're looking at what? If my math serves me correctly, 215K, right? You look at what he's selling for. 289. After the 20K tax, you're getting 255. And you spend 215, you're getting 35K per set. I'm telling you, boys, there's so much coins to be made out there, man, when it comes to these sets. Like I said, weekly wild cards are gold. Um, when it comes to AKAs, AK sits later in the week, but that's not like crazy profit. These weekly wild card sets for months, I've told you guys about them. They've been absolutely gold. And that's how I've been able to kind of, because I haven't been really been into coin making in the past, I would say three months. But that's how I've been able to stay afloat with my pack trash. I've been doing weekly wild card sets and cooking off of those. And just to show you quickly some other weekly wild card sets, Dwayne Brown, member. This is a 98. We can build a 98 for what? 390, 400K? One just sold for 550, 500K, 500K. So if you're building for 390, selling for 550, what are you making? About 100K per set? What's the name of the center that um, just got released for the... What's his name? Evan Brown. He's probably the best center in the game. You look at Evan Brown again because it's a 98 weekly wild card. We know what we have to do to build a 98 weekly wild card. Selling for 500k, we know we can build it for 400k. Let y'all know, man. There's stuff out there to be made. Y'all just got to go out there and make it happen. And that's it, boys. Another thing: Ring of Honor LTDs are into are impacts until the 18th, so until the new season. Now, one quick thing I want to show before we leave: they actually kind of screwed us with the season pass. So you can see with the season pass, if we actually go into this, you see it ends upper left hand corner, three days, two hours and 40 minutes. They made it where we can't actually switch up and use the competitive pass XP. Most people are done with the competitive pass anyway, but you can see the competitive pass doesn't expire. I think it's like 12 days. So it's additional week. So it won't be this Friday, but next Friday, we'll be able to get a new competitive pass. But appreciate you boys. Hopefully this helps y'all out. Hopefully y'all make some coins. The good thing about these sets, there's so many different sets that everyone can eat off on. Even if one is cluttered, go to a different one and make it happen. There's actually more sets that I could have talked about, but those are the main ones that I've been eating off of. So hopefully this helped you guys. Appreciate you boys. I'm signing out with the Maha Salute. Deuces.